the project watch. This is Serpy. Now, today we're going to try and make some sense out of our play out on the shores of Jamaica. By now, you'd have probably been following right, the back and forth between, right, of course, Daryl Vaz, former ambassador, Donald Tapia, right, then Peter Bunting, get dry night, Mocha, get dry night, it has start to look real, real spooky. I just give my play out in front of me. And to be honest, I don't even think the public know 10% of our on. But as Jamaican citizens, seeing that it concern right, members of the government, right, we have a right to at least try and understand what's going on, because I'm not going to fully make you know what's going on. But I see if we can piece together something. Up. Before I go any further, when I already know that I can't miss the opportunity for the business. Right? So in this video, right, while I try to make sense of what's going on, I'm going to be offering some seals because we restock the unicorn them. Trade out the unicorn, right? Outer wharf, get cleared. Right? Link me, contact details on the screen right now. 1 800 unicorn, or you can email at my store like a turkle at gmail.com. Because if you believe, so I think them we are here, right? especially from one to the camp. You are the type that would actually link me right, and pay me for Unicorn. Let us get into it. So even though a long time the Derivals visa thing are going on, right, and let me remind you, Philip Paul also lost his visa. We need to Adams and Theme Team to lose them visa. They will show why they are relevant later on in this video. So what really ignited right, the story was when a right, uh, picture of the visa Daryl Vaz's actual visa, right, the B1, B2, whatever you want him, right, appeared in the Jamaican press. And people could have said a waiver. And the waiver basically I say, Uncle Sam had enough reasons for belief, say, right, Daryl Vaz right, involved in a moving some products. Right, that we're not talk about um, ear products, we're not talk about you know, products for the, the style them down at all. So it was only natural. That we would ask the question, then I want make Uncle Sam come to them conclusion there. Because we know that Uncle Sam is all about them intel and collecting them intel and sitting upon them intel for years. Within no time, Daryl Vaz's PR team was deployed. But this PR team, and in a regular PR team, matter of fact, the spokesperson for the PR team so far. I've been the former US ambassador. I've never seen this in my life. This is the most vocal I've ever seen any US ambassador on any subject, and it's for the defense of Daryl Vaz. If I lie me and tell, tell me in the comment section. Can you even remember the name of two, three other US ambassadors? Can you remember five times them say anything in the media about anything? A matter of fact, it comes like every time we hear. The former US ambassador talk or something for the way Daryl Vaz. He seems quite invested right, in the whole matter. Right? Almost like him have a dog in the fight. Hmm. So then next thing we hear, right, I don't have come out and say, well, he'll soon get back in diplomat visa. And the next thing we hear say, he can get it back, but all on the people of Jamaica. Right? Just last week, days now, not even reached weeks yet. The advice get a right, little B1, B2, whatever you want him, right, with the waiver to visit Go America, what we in quote unquote conference. We now got to hear about that right, in the video too. Then, within a week or so, we hear saying get back diplomat visa after the backlash for the B1. Remember, right, after the B1 drop and the uproar, that's when we hear, no way, man, him soon get the diplomat. So, if we get the diplomat visa, right, we see it in the paper the 27th. If him never get the diplomat visa the 27th, why then bother give him the B1 days before? After all, the B1 was supposed to go do official government business, right? But then, after this big uproar, former ambassador come out, then, oh, see the diplomat visa, yeah, and by the way, we're not, we're not see, we're actually seen a copy of the diplomat visa, roll it here, say, he get back. But nevertheless, let's say him get it back for real. 
Why Uncle Sam never gave him the diplomat visa from the start? What kind of D ever see man get visa days apart from each other? So what the purpose was the first one then? You have visa dash way? You see, this is my theory. Darth Vaz was supposed to get that B1 visa and then just go up on him trip quietly, go do the model and come back. But the fact that the visa will get sent out and then the big uproar, instead of helping him, it ended up hurt him. And when he was hurt and he looked like him dead on the ropes, the former ambassador was the one who did a patch up him wounds. As a matter of fact, the former ambassador, right, I talked to the Jamaican public more about Daryl Vaz's issue than Daryl Vaz himself. Tell me in the comment section, so like me I tell. Daryl Vaz, right, I said no comment. Right, Daryl Vaz's spokesperson is the former US ambassador. This trip is going to be very important. Whatever Daryl Vaz go over there go do, it's going to be one hell of a trip. Uncle Sam really need him to make that trip. And really need him right, to not have certain negative light upon him. Will I be one here and here forward? Right it. I would tell if you go send him got the B1 my out here, that alright, here we go. All the diplomat. Right. See no they're not nothing for say. Days apart. Right. I want to know if you look on the screen right now. When the whole thing go down, right, and this is from nationwide, by the way, right, to be honest, a nationwide coverage may really work because I love what I'm doing with this whole thing. Right. Remember this? However, at the time, Ambassador Tapia stated categorically that the US was not in possession of any information of criminal wrongdoings on the part of any Jamaican politician in either the governing JLP or opposition PNP. Based on what was on the waiver day, we now know that's unicorn meat because them waiver day means that Uncle Sam is in possession of something to make them come to the conclusion say in a wrongdoings that's why they take away the waiver right the, the code they written under the waiver with them side that them are waive directly contradict what we are saying so and the ambassador categorically say right I don't know to do right now for information about criminal wrongdoings open the witness up for you know. and even him said this the Jamaican people them who have sense raise them eyebrow like hold on then a walk would make a take away the visa of right, a serving minister and a very influential politician in the opposition. Mm. Why you not like the way they dress? You not like them ear style? No more something for do with some kind of criminal wrongdoings. Right. But him, they say him categorically. Right, State say, and I don't like that. Now look on your screen again. When you remember this, again, this is half nationwide. He is vowing to do all in his power to try to correct what he described as a wrong which has, was done to Minister Vaz. Only Minister Vaz. Philip Paul will lose visa. Renita Adams lose visa. As a matter of fact, Adams whole team losing visa. Yo, it come like say all the vendor who sell them a bottle of water. Right? While they lag up on the apps, it come like all them lose fin visa too. So the mosquito will pitch pan Adams. Right. In a crawl, lose fame visa too. Right. But Donald Tapia is only interested in fighting in the corner of Darrell Vaz. To the point that even nationwide state is very rare for a serving or a former US ambassador to publicly admit to a visa mistake anywhere in the world. You think about what the man is saying now, wanting to realize. The lens Uncle Sam go to to protect them witness, sorry I mean to protect right, a foreign politician. When the US ambassador, I go say that, he's basically undermining right, the American system itself. If what he's saying is correct, then that means that the whole visa process right, is not as sturdy as people think. That means the man has said, in order to protect Daryl Vaughan's name, the man is saying America right, around some kind of puppy show. With any little Mickey Mouse staff, candles, right? Go buy one party and you stop me in a party shop and then say, What? I that go on and go take a smaddy visa. I that thing basically I say, no, the man is willing to undermine right, the reputation of his own nation system right, to protect Daryl Vaz. To do PR for Daryl Vaz. Extraordinary lens, no? 
There's a reason nationwide put it there. So it is very rare. Publicly admit. I want to think fit, you know. When they meet up with some people, I want dinner, I say, boy, you know, setting. But if you can make the public hear that, that will make the public lose faith, right, in the American visa process, no? But it's worth it, apparently, for the real bars. Look on your screen again. How many people know who this man is? That man is Colonel Desmond Edwards, the big boss for Mocha. Donald Tapia say, Peter Bunting, when he was security minister, tell Moka to investigate Daryl Vaz. When me hear it, my eyebrow them raise. Because that not supposed to happen. The minister not supposed to, right? Can just say, yo, investigate, especially somebody who's a political rival, eyebrow raise. That's a massive scandal. Massive scandal. Matter of fact, I go play exactly what the man say. Listen up. I'm saying that that that, that when he was the minister of security, he actually asked for a review of uh, not not the U.S. but he actually asked Malka at that time of that agency uh, for a review of uh, Dale Vaz. Yes, so how did the not US, us, so not how, us. how did the U.S. embassy became involved then? Not the same way that you have a copy of my letter. What's up? So a copy of that request was basically sent to the, the same, U.S. Embassy? Basically the, same re, the, basically the same way that you have a copy of my letter. That I did not send you a copy of my letter. There's only there's only one person that uh, had a copy of my had a copy of my letter. Hmm. But it appears that uh, it appears that you have a copy of my letter. So it's the same way. No. Somebody no. somebody somebody supplied the, that information. Somebody supplied that information. To the U.S. Embassy, to the U.S. Ambassador, does that mean that the U.S. Embassy have an agent, have a plant, right? have a leak, have a water commission in Amoka? The nation's right main investigative body when it comes down to them big, big level thing they meet them. Well, anyway, the colonel say them denied completely. They're so not in Nagoso. In other words, Donald Tapia, I tell a lie at that time. If Donald Tapia says so, right, and then Moka come back out and say nothing to go so, right, that translates to him a lie. But you notice, them can't, you notice they're not being very aggressive towards him. Them now come out come say, I lie him I tell. Them just say, oh, we deny it. See, Jamaica tread lightly when telling them deal with you know, US ambassadors and US because well, don't be no for frightened. So notice them now go too hard after Donald Trump, you know, even though this man, right, according to them, is making an extreme right, allegation or not negotiable. So. Right. I want you to picture this scenario. A US ambassador, even a, a former US, sorry, a former Jamaican ambassador. Right. I go tell right, the American media and the American public for the first time say, oh, by the way, we don't know say Pompeo, did all the investigation, tell FBI if you investigate um, Nancy Pelosi, only know that. And at the first time the American people hear that from a Jamaican ambassador, a former Jamaican ambassador. You know what Uncle Sam would do him? Check him like the Nike sign. Uncle Sam would check him like the thing that people used to collect money out of the bank. They'd be like, who the hell right, this man think he is? Flip the pan, American style. I come deep in the American business, even if something goes so, if you go tell right, the American public, right, say, right, pump here, investigate, but who, who that brother here? They may not check him. Mm. Matter of fact, when they don't check him, right, any visa him gone, any visa him get, probably get taken to him. Matter of fact, not even one plane, they may send him back from him. He come back from a little banana boat when they don't need him. But the former US ambassador can say this, right, and from where the colonel they must say, a lie and still nobody from the government right, can't reach out and say hold on the brother because you just come around and like cause be a problem now you have said things are not no go so right and now you have put things in a people head right? and remember you know, all this is, is to defend the real you know? because by saying one thing right out of more of investigate what people are got you know right? and what some people are got transit now for their mind is oh start true daryl vars 
right, sorry, through Peter Bunting, tell him to investigate Daryl Vaz, that helped lead to Daryl Vaz losing his visa. Let me tell you right now, people of Jamaica, yard and abroad. Email me slow like a turtle at gmail.com. Buy some unicorn if you think there is nothing that Peter Bunting or Mocha can say or do to make Daryl Vaz lose in US visa. That is a decision that would have been done entirely based on US intelligence. And the Jamaican public should be offended right, at the fact that the man would even put that nonsense out there expecting people to believe it. Of all the things that may play out in this, that is the most ridiculous. If I one part of this, I can tell you, say, if you say to me, say, sir, all of this, which part of the things are not negotiable? Are the part we say? Right? Well, I don't know about right, Peter Bunting telling him to investigate Mocha, but the insinuation is that at that now trigger and cause complete rubbish. Peter Bunting, aka Divine Intervention, can't make the Elvis losing visa. As a matter of fact, if Jamaican politicians could play a role in making like them rivals lose visa, no politician no no visa left for Jamaica. A Uncle Sam business that an Uncle Sam entirely. That the intel eh, couldn't come from the bunting or couldn't come from the mocha. And the minister, sorry, the former ambassador stated categorically say it was not through no criminal investigations. And then we realized eh, right, our investigations because the last time I checked. Right, moving products across you know, waters is criminal investigation, that's the criminal act. So we are ready to say, right, him thing shaky. Thing shaky bad. So now we're gonna why why would he be honest about this part? Anything for defend viral vars, whatever Daryl Vars right, I go do, say or hear must be of the utmost importance to Uncle Sam. See, in all of this, people keep overlooking the facts, say. Right. Philip Powell and Adams, then, they lose for them visa, too. And now we are here, right, the PR machine, I said, well, right, it's because Uncle Sam realized that it was an error and, you know, he wasn't found guilty. But we are ready since the 212 code, no need to be found guilty in a, con in a, in a court of law. We see that. You can research it for yourself. Uncle Sam don't need you to be found guilty. Them just have to have reasons to believe. I right, want to see where the info can come from. DE and in place there. Not no mocha. Uncle Sam no business about no mocha. I could have mocha, poker, or joker. Uncle Sam no check for Jamaican agents like that. That is the come out of them group. them alphabet team. So it's down to reason. If people are say, well, Uncle Sam realized there's an error because in the day there was no conviction and they were getting no hard, if, then wouldn't that same logic apply to Philip Paulwell and Adams and him team? Maybe they didn't get designated on a 212, but a something. Right. So why wouldn't I see the, why wouldn't I see the farm ambassador go as hard for them? Well, I wonder if right, this upcoming meeting between Daryl Vaz and Uncle Sam have something to do with it. No if look on your screen right now. This is from Nationwide again. If you can't see it, me read it for you. Meantime, sources in the US said during the second week of October this year, Minister Vaz right, is scheduled to head right, or to lead a government of Jamaica delegation right, to Arizona and the US capital Washington DC. The delegation is to participate in high level consultations on Information and Communications Technology ICT, and Cyber Security in USA. The consultations are to take place between October 9th and 16th. You see the part on the line narrowed down button? Let me tell you what that's saying. The visit of the delegation from Jamaica is being funded by the US government. Uncle Sam is funding Daryl Vaz and a team. Figure fine got talk about information and communications technology and cyber security in the USA. Information, yes. A real information they got talk about. I'm telling you this is the spookiest chess game. Daryl Vaz get back a B1 visa. And if that visa never go public, I better say he may just go over there and then afterwards down the road 
you know, when things go on good for the consultation, eh? then we got you about diplomat visa run back. Do you remember the date on the visa? Go up and green and go check it if you don't believe me. Issue date 24th of September 2021. Expiration date 23rd of September 2022. And by the 27th of September, we see it in a nationwide say, the advice get back. Diplomat visa. So why them bother give him this one two, three days before? If they give him a diplomat visa. The man get a B1, B2, if you go up an official government business. Big backlash going over a wave of 212A, 2C1. Then a couple of days. Oh! Matter of fact, right after. No man, him soon get the diplomat. And then by 27th, we say him get it back. Man, the man visa give it like dirt. But it really spooky because the first one reaching the, the public domain. But the second one. Right, when I have the wave according to where I read, we would make him look even better. We don't see that one day yet. But either way, I wonder which country give you two visas in a two day. If you go to the one trip. The farmer ambassador come out and say, no worry man, he soon get it back. The farmer ambassador, not the current, the farmer. So now the Jamaican people wonder if man I got a friend got on the farmer in America. Get it? See what I did there? It's really spooky. I never seen nothing like this yet. I didn't know that there was a heavyweight in Jamaica. But I never know to the extent. Imagine an ambassador of the United States is your number one PR spokesperson. You now say nothing, and an ambassador who is now a former ambassador. A fight in a year corner. To the extent where you can just say no comment, no comment, and just sit back and fold up on them. Right? And watch even Mocha get fling under the bus. Peter Bunting get fling under the robot taxi. The, 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 the Jamaican people, right, intelligence, right? they fling under one yang yang. Right? Because let me tell you something. Them type of speech is when you come to the conclusion, say. Nobody in the country in a sense. Some of the things that I hear, that when you make up your mind, say, nobody in a sense. Because the only way you think the public would buy some of this right, is because, right? You ask them people, they might go just hear this, see the headline and work with it. And that is why I tell the Jamaican people, say, we must make intelligence cool again. Like we have Mocha, well, that's Mika. Make intelligence cool again. That way, people can respect you. Because when people respect you, they think twice for bringing certain foolishness to you. But we never reputation for you. Oh, well, all them good for us. Right. Tracks and music, right. dance and shock and jive. So even though we are not really add up, right, they're going to work with it anyway. They're going to see Ambassador Billy Joe and say, well, if I didn't want to say it must be true. Right. It must be true because after all, he's a Serpy. He's going to just make up things to get views. Right. And just still be a life to try to get a strength. But as I say, it's real spooky. But we got nationwide for the coverage of this. We really like all the map. Right. Then they just right, work with the headlines and make it blow past and, and gone in the wind. When right. they actually right, I get some kind of accountability. What do you mean by that? What do you say that? When? How? That's how journalism is right. supposed to work. But anyway, let me wrap this one up right there. So. Because as I say, I don't think the public know 10% of what I go on. Patreon squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know, no life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.